Hey ya, people of the internet. My name's Cassandra. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be playing some Sims 4. Uh, it will be a sort of legacy challenge, but uh, not a specific one that sort of exists. Just, just to like, try to get to 10 generations is the uh, the idea. So uh, we're going to start off here today uh, with our first generation. Um, Sim, uh, who is a female, she's a teen, and she's going through some troubles. So let's get into it. All right, so let me show you our girl here. Uh, this is Catherine Mabry. Uh, she's a teen and she, Basically, her story is that she's been kicked out of her very religious home uh, after getting pregnant by her boyfriend. Um, her boyfriend is Jeb Harris. Love Jeb, so cute. Um, she will be, basically, she's trying to become a lawyer. That's her aspiration. And she will be keeping the baby, so she's trying to um, live on her own, having been kicked out, um, still go to school and raise the baby, and that's pretty much her story, these are her outfits if you're interested. She's just, she's a, you know, she's trying to be more modern and be herself, but she obviously is, still has the um, remnants of being raised very modest, so that's kind of her personality. All right, so here's our lot. I gave us a tent here and a bush. Also, I'm so sorry for my computer. My, she is so dramatic. Um, she's loud, but she's fine. I gave us a bike. I don't know if we'll actually use it, but we'll see. Uh, it's currently Monday. I think we have school, actually. Do -do -do. We do, so that's great. Um, and we have homework to do. It started at 50%, but we don't have any in our inventory, so we'll have to wait till after school. Um, let's find a job because she'll need to make some money. As you can see, she only has $700, so she'll need to make some money to care for the baby, uh, get herself, you know, uh, more, a better home for the baby. Alright. I think we can start as a retail employee or selling books or something. Bookstore clerk is 33 an hour. 3 hours a week. And retail employee is 36 an hour four hours per day. Okay, perfect. So we'll go ahead and, and do retail. Um, and she'll be able to do that after school on Tuesdays through Fridays. And then she also works Saturdays. And that'll be able to help her pay for the baby. That's enough. All right, perfect. So she'll start that tomorrow. And for her school performance to go up, we need her to get one skill to level two. And for this here, um, she needs to pass some exams and go to university. So we'll be able to wait a little bit until she's a little closer to uh, graduating. Because right now she's pretty much at the beginning of her high school career. Um, so, of course, I had to play her a little bit because I just had to um, cheat her pregnant and cheat her relationship with Jeb because, for story reasons. Um, and I thought, yeah, her and Jeb have been friends since they were kids, and then they started dating, and, you know, they both didn't know about protection and all this, so that's how they got pregnant. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give her a garbage can because i forgot to give her a garbage can how long till she has class she has class in i think three hours well two two really 
So, I guess she has time to get one skill up so we could try... Using the bike to see see if that gets a skill up. See you at school. It was fun talking instead of texting, says Jacob Volkov. Okay, so we've acquired the fitness skill. Now we have to get it to to uh, level two. So let's just ride around and get that skill level up. Oh, it's raining. Okay, we reached fitness level two, so we should, let's see. Okay, we do have our, our um, task done here. I didn't have anything for shelf stock or promotion requirements, so. Um, I think we'll just, maybe we'll just see if we can travel Oh, you know what? I'll just wait because school starts in literally 30 minutes, so I won't have time to do anything. What in the world? Yeah, just go to... Yeah, okay, that's... I was so confused because she went... She was trying to run inside instead of just biking home. Anyway, I don't know if it'll auto... Um, appear at my house again. I hope that it does because I don't want to have to go get it again and oh my goodness get it stolen or something all right so yes it did bring her, her bike along i think that is my bike right yeah i'm gonna rename it so that i can find it in the future there All right, I'll also set as preferred bike. And now you don't need to sit there. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is, since our needs are fine right now, I'm gonna go get some food. So we have some at lunch and we can literally just go get it out of our inventory and not have to wait or anything. Um, Oh, maybe I should put it in the inventory so it doesn't get stolen. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that right after I'm done. After she's done ordering, she'll go put that in the inventory. Okay. And then after getting her food, she's gonna... I have to go to the principal's office and learn about the new school. All right, uh, we'll do a respectful introduction. No, don't eat it yet. I'll, I want to put it in her inventory. Where'd you put it? Where did you put it? She Did she eat it? Oh my gosh. Well, hopefully she'll just be less hungry at lunchtime. Alright, uh, so we got the respectful introduction, and then... Hello? Oh my goodness. Well, we... Introduced herself to the principals. We'll have to go learn about the school from the principal on lunch. Why is she? Why is she doing that? That's really weird, my dude. She's just gonna ride to her class on her bike. That is so, so funny. All students are like, "What the hell is up with the new girl?" Why does she ride her bike everywhere? Oh, she's riding it through the wall. Okay, good to know. Can you just get the class already? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, she just acquired the logic skill. That's good. All right, it's lunch time, so let's make sure she has her notebook. I don't know where her notebook went, but okay. Um, let we need to be friendly with a student, so let's go and see our 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 boy Jeb. And let's hug him and be like, "Oh my gosh, Miss, I can't believe." You know, everything that's happening, can you believe? And just be like, thank you so much for being supportive. Hello. And we can, yeah, we could be like, you are my favorite because I don't really have anybody else in my life right now that's been as supportive as you are. Okay. And then... Okay, and then we can just talk about interests and just like chat a little bit. Why am I getting negative interactions? I don't understand. And then they want me to study for exams. I'm gonna go ahead and eat first. Also, my game has a glitch where it doesn't always show the needs. Uh, the right color like this should be like yellow um but i mean it's it's fine i can see the uh, amount let's go ahead and get hamburger sliders that should be fine and then after we eat we can study for exams okay go ahead and eat yeah that's fine go ahead and eat here sit down and eat okay Jeb was gonna come sit with us. It's so sweet. He's like, I know you don't know anybody yet, so I'm gonna come sit with you here while we eat. We can maybe just um, gossip, or we can talk about. I don't know what could we talk about. Let's do small talk. Let's just ask about his day. How's how's school going for you today? And then And then we will want to study for some for exams before the end of lunch. Well, lunch is done, but you know whatever. Uh Hello. I didn't mean to click the X on that one. Something weird is happening with my mouse. Let's try that again. Oh, she's focused. Good. Focused for school. That's wonderful. That's what you want. She's happy. Alright, so now um, she can study that later and go to class right now. It's really annoying that if she's doing something, it takes her like forever to get up and go to class, but whatever, I guess. I mean, I guess I also took forever to get to class when I was in high school, so I shouldn't judge. All right, here we are in science class. So we're working on our logic skills still. There. Perfect. So we have a, a few minutes now that school has ended. Is it normal that we don't have homework when we go to... Is it normal that we don't have homework when we go to school? I think so. Alright, Catherine turned in some good work and took some good notes today. Good. So. Um, we're gonna have to go, Ooh, let me see here, we need to go to the bathroom, and then I think we'll have to take a little nap before work, so let's go to the bathroom here, oh my god, don't use the bike, really, what's this guy doing, protesting, they're protesting something. Well, I don't have time for that, I need to... Go to the bathroom, 
and then go to work to make money to feed my child. So I don't, I really don't have time for that right now, but I'm sure we'll find time for finding out what all that is about soon enough. I really didn't choose a locker. Let's go ahead and claim this locker. Oh yeah, we don't have work today, only tomorrow. So we have time to go home and really like chill out once, you know, we can hang out here, maybe hang out with Jeb for a bit. So let's see, does he want to... Oh, Jeb is calling me. It's a long story, but my family is in a bit of a pickle right now and we need a place to stay for a bit. Jeb, you joker, I, you know I don't even have a place to stay. I have a tent in, a, in an empty yard. Okay, let's see, can I join this game? Or are they in like an official um, sports or something? We could just see if he wants to, you know, hang out. Now that school's like over. Oh, there was an apple in my locker. Now that I have a locker, I can freshen up in it. I want to know is if that affects my hygiene. It does. That's so nice. All right, well, let's go home and we'll see about inviting Jeb over once we get there. Right now, it's currently Meet a Celebrity Day, which I don't think Catherine really cares about that much. Because she's just like, oh, um, celebrities are cool and everything, I guess. But she has bigger fish to fry. Who's this? There's someone here. You coming to greet me? Oh, and Jeb's already here. I'm gonna call him over. And she's gonna introduce herself to this person. Oh, she's getting really hungry, so we should probably go out and get some food. In a What's up with you? Do you wanna come out with me and get some food, Jeb? Because I really need to get some food. So maybe we should go back to his place because he's I mean I'm sure he has food. Okay. That I think that's what I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's go with Jeb back to his place. So we're gonna go ahead and go here. They're a pretty nice family, pretty big family, so I'm sure they won't mind if we come crash their supper, have some food before going back home. Let's start by introducing ourselves to the parents here. Make sure that everyone's cool with us being here look at all the trash oh my gosh that's so sad there we've introduced ourselves so now let's see about can we get some food is there anything in this house that we could eat usually this family they're always cooking like on the grill so I figured it would be like just a matter of time before that happens. Aw, she's thinking of, she's like, you guys are gonna be grandparents soon. So we could complain about the heat, say it's really hard to sleep in the tent. It gets cold at night, but then it's so hot during the day. And 
Well, we can complain about our parents and like, oh, my parents don't want me around anymore. And I'm so grateful you guys took me in because my parents are so unsupportive of me. Yes, I'm glad that went over well. These are the grandparents of my children, to be fair, so... All right, so she's feeling pretty confident because this interaction is going very well. She's like, oh, the parents like me. And let's go see inside the house. Um, oh, someone's grilling, so maybe we'll come here and uh, see if there's any leftovers that she could grab in the meantime. I think she just grilled like a smoothie, which I've never seen that before in my life. Um, but okay, uh, I guess she could also just grab a something from the fridge and see. Um, okay, let's cook together with Jeb, so it's not like completely rude, because she'll be like, "Oh, it's fine." Like he said, it was okay to cook to cook together, you know. But let's cook something that's not too hard and not too, doesn't take too long because, oh, a good pan of mac and cheese. Perfect. I think that's, I don't think you need to watch the college cram right this second because you're pretty hungry. So I think that it would be better to go do that right away. All right, group cooking. I don't even know where Jeb is. I think he went up to his room. Oh, he's not up here. I have no idea where he went. Well, um, <laughs> oh no. Where are you, Jeb? I'm literally dying. I do not want to die of hunger because Jeb can't get his ass in here fast enough. Where is he? Well, okay. I guess we'll have to just start cooking because there's not much else we could do. Oh, there you are. Jeez, buddy. You took forever to get here. Okay, well, now I need to start all over again. Ah, I thought this was a cute thing we could do and now you're taking it's taking forever to get anything done. Jeez, Jeb. All right, perfect. We're laughing at something on his phone. Ah, that's so sweet. He feels like I just get him. Well, she does. She's like, we just get each other. All right, so let's start cooking some mac and cheese together. Please do not burn this mac and cheese. You're so hungry. What do you mean this is inappropriate? I'm cooking with him. Well, she's just an older sister, so what does she know? She's like, ugh, get your little girlfriend out of the kitchen. And he's like, she's literally making us dinner. Can you chill? Oh no, why is she going to practice kissing in the mirror? That's so funny. Resume the mac and cheese so we can finish and eat. Oh my god, this is just a nightmare. I feel like she should be dead three times over, but I'm not complaining. I'm too hungry to stop, I'm sorry. I can't I can't go somewhere else now. Oh my goodness. What a nightmare. Well, now she's so tired. She might as well just go home and sleep and eat tomorrow morning. <laughs> she left her bike there. She's like, I'm way too tired to bike. She's about to fall asleep on the ground. Oh my God. She's going all the way back there to fall asleep. Well, okay, that's fine. I just want you to go home. 
and look at her hunger. Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. I hope your house burns down, Faye. Just go home. Go home and go sleep. Okay. There's nothing in my inventory either. Okay. Well, I'll just try, try to sleep and hope for the best. I'm really worried. <sighs> I'm really worried. Alright, she's up, she's awake, she needs to pee, and she's really hungry. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. Well, actually, let's just go to the restaurant because we have to go anyway. And she can go to the bathroom there. And we'll go alone. We just need something to eat really quickly before we die. I need to pause this right away because I have some um, emergency stuff to do here. Let's go to the bathroom really quickly here. Use there. <laughs> oh god, she needs to go so bad. Please. Please make it. Please make it. Alright, alright, alright. She made it. Okay, perfect. Now, when she's done that, she can come here and order food. Let's order some fish and chips. Should be good for her hunger, right? She's not having a good time. It's 6 a.m. She has school in an hour and a half. And she has not even... Where are you going? It's not smoke break time. Oh, no. She, have to, she has to order from the new mixologist. Please, I'm so hungry. Please. Wow, I'm going to be in this paparazzi photo, I guess. Who is coming to take over the bar? Is it you? She's like, I'm just gonna call a stranger so that hopefully I can distract myself. What is happening? It seems like this sim might be stuck. School literally starts right away. So like, I, I could just go to school. Okay, well now that you're inside, can I at least order food? Doesn't seem like it. Please, I am so hungry. Why is nothing working in this freaking game? She can't even go to school. I want her to go to school and she can't even do that. Okay. Thank goodness, my gosh. All right, now that she's out of school and we have like two hours before the end of morning free time, let's hurry up and immediately go order some food because this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Let's get some tamale bites. Come on, okay. Here she comes. Give my girl her food, please. Why are you just standing there? I ordered some food. Make it, please. Hello? Hello? Ava? Ava! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry that you're not doing well, but I need food like now. I will die. Okay, thank goodness. What are her other emotions? She's late and she had a funny conversation. Okay, just eat the food. This is a teacher's lounge. 
She's going to sneak into the teacher's lounge and take a nap. Because she has work tonight. So, at least her hunger's not the worst it's ever been, but... Okay, it's back up in the green now, so that's good. But she's gonna, like, literally fall asleep in class if she doesn't take a nap, so... We might as well take a nap, and then we'll see where we're at when the bell rings. The principal's like, don't mind her, she's going through a really tough time, so I'm letting her sleep on this comfortable couch. Alright, so... We're in the orange. I guess I'll have her go to class, and maybe at lunchtime we'll be able to go back and take a nap, like, immediately. Oh, look at her. She's so tired. She's like, I've, I have so many goals. I need to, need to get them done. Like, she need to go to class or my goals won't get, I won't be able to reach my goals. That's the words I was looking for. All right. Catherine is now in her first trimester and should schedule her first prenatal visit. Only one prenatal visit is needed per trimester. Okay, Catherine just got the writing skin and the writing skill, not skin, and the Salve, Salvador, Salvador Radian culture skill and the archaeology skill. So what class is she in? Social studies. Oh, okay. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and hurry up and get her another nap right away and... That way, hopefully, she'll be able to. Let's take a nap. Hopefully, she'll be able to take. Um, well, I think she'll have a. She'll have a. A doctor's appointment tonight, but hopefully, she'll be able to. Take a nap. I'm telling you to take... Oh, she's in the way. Can you move? I'm going to make her move. She's like, teacher, can you please help me? I really need... I really need to take a nap because I've worked tonight and an OB appointment and I'm just really not feeling well. Um, so I'm going to have her stand up so we can lay here. Okay, take a nap. You have an hour and you'll feel much better when you're done. there. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to class. She's still very tired, so she was able to take a little nap, so hopefully that will help a bit. Alright, alright, I get it. Hey guys, it is Editing Cassandra here. I just wanted to say that a few clips were lost, but we will be continuing from this point next video. We will be able to see how Catherine does on her first day of work, her first uh, appointment for her baby, and uh, getting into all sorts of shenanigans, I'm sure. Hopefully not um, from hunger this time. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!